Hello, is Miss Khan here on Thursday, the 28th of January 2021. Well done for all of you finishing off the beginning of your innovative tale. Now, today we'll be focusing on our middle. So let's look at our what, how, and why. So our what today is to write to write our innovative version of the tale of Little Red Riding Hood focusing on plot point four and plot point five of the middle okay really important to be looking at that story map that you created last week to help you our how is practicing new learning this is our first time creating a long piece of writing so well done and keep it up and why so we can sequence sentences to form a piece of amazing writing so in our tale so if you can okay i would like you to get your story map from last week okay and i want you to look at innovative plot point four and your innovative plot point five what happened okay what happened and i would like you to have a little chat with someone next to you and i'll give you a couple of minutes to do that so if we rewind okay and you look at my uh, story map you can see that the mean massive mammoth okay gets an idea and you can see that light bulb moment he gets a light bulb moment and he plans to visit okay sunny the seal in his habitat before percy the penguin gets there okay so i will be writing that today and you can see how my innovated plot point four goes back to the original plot point of the big bad wolf getting an idea and you can see it goes back plot point five of the original that uh, the big bad wolf goes to grandma's house okay so you can see how i have innovated that so when we do our writing it is really important to use three uh, resources to help us okay so it's really important for us to use our phase sound mat phase two to five sound mat and i said earlier on the week that in your learning logs okay you have phase two phase three and phase five phonics mats so use them okay they're all in your learning log i know that some of you have created your own word mat okay linking to some of the tricky words that we should know in year one and some words that we will need for our innovative tale because i know one of my settings is in antarctica i made sure i used went on the internet and made sure i know how to spell antarctica and made sure i remembered i need a capital letter for antarctica because it is a noun it is a name of a place and my time to check okay making sure i have that when i am doing my writing and you will see that closer when i start my writing and it's really important also actually to have your story map from last week the one that you drew okay this is going to help you create a piece of writing so i'm going to move my camera down perfecto and i'm going to show you all the resources that i have to do my writing as well okay so do, 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 do. perfect so you can see okay i have my story map okay my innovative plot point four and plot point five the two that we are focusing on today okay and i'm going to keep that next to me when i'm doing my piece of writing 
I've got my word map okay to help me with my writing I've got my phonics map from phase two all the way to phase five I'm not as lucky as you guys having a learning log so I had to have one of these okay and I have got my time to check okay making sure I have all those non-negotiables in my writing so let's just go quickly through what all of these symbols mean before we start our writing first symbol okay making sure our writing is sitting on the line beautifully making sure we have capital letters at the start of the sentence but also in noun so if it's the name of the place for example antarctica it needs to be a capital at the start not all of the word okay making sure my letter formation is beautiful okay making sure i am using my phonics using those super segmenting arms to help me if i'm finding it tricky finger space is something that we are working on making sure we have finger spaces in between each word making sure our sentences make sense again another thing that we are working on okay and making sure we have a full stop at the end of our sentence okay so having that there so i've got all my resources that i need to do my writing so i'm going to make a start it might be a good idea okay before you start to read what you did yesterday and on monday so i might have a little read of what i did yesterday and on monday just to help me okay make sure my writing is amazing so i'm going to read through it okay making sure using my time to check it has all of these things and in particular it makes sense once upon a time, there was a cute little penguin called Percy. One day, he went to visit his friend's habitat. He carefully walked through cold Antarctica to see Sonny the seal. As he was walking, he bumped into the massive mean mammoth. The mammoth asked, where are you going, little penguin? And little Percy replied, I am going to see my friend Sonny the seal. So now I can start my middle, so I'm going to look at this okay what can i see happening in plot point four what can i see i can see okay the mean massive mammoth getting a light bulb moment he okay is getting an idea so that's what i'm going to write okay so i'm going to miss a line start a new paragraph okay i'm going to say the okay my the okay starting a new line so i need to make sure it has a capital t, t. it is a tricky word okay the finger space massive because it's part of his name it needs to be a capital m m a s mean m e n m e n mean mammoth m a Can you help me with gets? Ready? G E T S G 
get finger space g e t z. Ooh, I can hear lots of children shouting at me, but I don't know what I've done wrong. G e t z. Oh yeah, another z. A buzz. Yeah, gets. No, what's wrong with it? Oh, Miss Con. Now the s and the z make a very similar sound. So I'm going to cross that out again. It's okay to make a mistake. We don't need a rubber, and I'm going to write it on top. G, e, t, s, s, get. An idea for stop. I'm going to go back, read that sentence. The massive mean mammoth gets an idea for stop. Happy with that. I'm going to continue. Okay, go on to my plot point five. Okay, I can see. Okay, that my mean mammoth runs. Okay, to Sunny the seal's habitat to get there before. Okay, the poor little penguin Percy. So that's what I'm going to write. So he. Carefully runs because again it's icy. Carefully carefully runs r or runs. runs. Yeah, I've done a z this time. I haven't done a z. He carefully runs to Sunny the seals habitat. We learned about habitat last term. Habitat. To, t, u, to get there before little, little, little. Now I know little. Is a tricky word. So I know I've got little on my word mat. So I'm going to magpie for that. Okay, little to get there before little Percy. Percy's a name, so it needs to be a capital Percy. Little Percy Penguin. Full stop. He carefully runs to Sunny the Seal's habitat to get there before Little Percy Penguin. I'm happy with that, okay, because. Looking at my innovative plot point four and five, I think I have wrote what happens there. So that the mean mammoth gets an idea. He runs, okay, to Sunny the seal before, okay, before little Percy gets there. And if I look back at my original plot points, the wolf gets an idea, 
he tries to get to the house before Little Red Riding Hood does. Okay, so I'm going to read through my work. Okay, using my time to check to help me. The massive mean mammoth gets an idea. He carefully runs to Sunny, the seal's habitat, to get there before little Percy Penguin. I'm going to little Percy the Penguin. The Penguin. So you can see I'm editing this already. Okay. And I am happy with that. So I would love to see, okay, your middle of plot point four and plot point five on evidence me so tomorrow we can focus on plot point six okay and you can see that there okay you can see the original plot point and you can see the innovated one doesn't look very good so i will see you tomorrow for that plot point see you tomorrow guys bye